Coming up next on the Hawks Nest, we're going to take a look at all things Southeast Missouri State sports, starting with football in a big 48-44 win in Carbondale last Saturday. Then we're going to dive into soccer and see how the team looked as they started off conference play. Welcome to the Hawks Nest. I'm Tom Olson. And I'm Leah Rusk. And today we're going to be taking you through everything SEMO sports. A long-standing tradition war for the wheel from boat to bus against SIU last Saturday. The Red Hawks took home a 48-44 win. Marquez Terry took home a record-breaking 311 rushing yards. That's two offensive players of the week for him from Stats FCS and the OVC. He set the school and senior conference game rushing records and the new OVC record for yards in a single game. Not only that, altogether he had 438 all-purpose yards and four touchdowns. He now leads the NCAA in the most rushing yards in a single game. All with that, he had an upset stomach. He had an upset stomach because he was probably eating something from down there in Southern. But we won't even delve into that. It was a pretty crazy game all in itself. Get the Santa hats out as Daniel Santa Catarina is uh, he's giving out the gift of touchdowns of all of Cape Girardeau. Hope you've been good this year because he is going to dominate for seasons to come. He was 18 for 31 through the air and two touchdowns. Simo now leads the rivalry 40, 37, and 8 all time. Take that, SIU. Simo snapped a 10 game road losing streak with its own win this week. Simo took back to back timeouts on fourth and three and fourth quarter on defense. Looked like it was going to be our game. Then we were get called for a too many men on the field penalty after Rookie taking mistake. two timeouts. Not exactly a bright <laughs> spot. However, Carbondale would go on to score on that drive. But back comes Santa. Santa Canarina sees the moment, leading the team downfield, finding receiver Zach Smith with three times on the final drive. Zach Smith must have been good this year as Santa was finding him a lot. With 30 seconds to go, Simo appeared to take the lead back from Southern on a clear touchdown pass to Wilkerson in the back of the end zone. However, it was uh, apparently not a touchdown. The referees did not see it, but Simo did not back down. On the next play, Simo found Austin Crump on a wide open misdirection play for a touchdown to take the lead back with 25 seconds left and ultimately take the wheel back to Cape Girardeau. Leading into soccer, they lost to rival Missouri State last Thursday with a 1-4 loss. It was a goal by Esme Gonzalez and it's her third of the season. Esme Gonzalez, she's a real player out there, folks. How tall is she again? Uh, four foot seven, but stands much taller than that in pride. Doesn't even matter. They lost to UT Martin last Sunday with a 0-1 loss but UT Martin scored with only 20 minutes left to play. Freshman Bailey Redden started in, school, started in goal, logging her first career start and had nine saves. Pretty good for a freshman out there, huh? For sure. Week break, they'll have a week break from Jacksonville before Jacksonville State next Sunday when they head to Alabama. The Red Hawks will return home next Thursday against Eastern Kentucky University and next Sunday against Moorhead State. Well, that's all we have for you today, folks, but make sure to stay tuned next week for all things Southeast Missouri State sports. I'm Tom Olson. I'm Leah Rusk. And that's all we got.